For our first tutorial, we're going to look at how power and audio gets routed through the Datatone system. Everything starts with the power supply. The power supply um, gives a voltage out of these A and B buses, which can then be passed along through each one of these modules that connect together a little bit like Lego bricks, um, up and down and side to side. So if we connect one to the bottom, it will also be getting power from, from the power supply here. There's two ways that audio get routed through this system. One is just the AB bus. That's a rough stereo mix down um, that allows you to send things out through um, a single jack at the very end through one of these mixer units, either the universal mixer or the sub mixer. So you have the A and the B buses. And in every module, you will have uh, things that are linked to each one of those uh, without any chance of panning. So for example, um, this is the quad sound generator, and we'll look at this more in detail in a little while. It has four oscillators in it. And here you can see that oscillator 1 and 3 are connected to the A bus, and can, um, oscillators 2 and 4 are connected to the B bus. So when I turn these up... You can hear that they all come up together. There's two and four. And there's one and three. And they're just hard band. To get audio out of the system, we need to use either the submixer or the universal mixer. The connection is between all of our kind of Lego bricks are these five pin connectors here. These are the A and B and they lock together like this. And these are the channels, channel one, two, three, and four. And they lock together going up and down. So if we connect a mixer on the end here, this universal mixer, at the end of it we have a seven pin connector in the middle. And that's how we get the, the signal out of the synthesizer and into our mixer, our headphones, our speakers. Now, if we want a little bit more control over the channels, then uh, we want to connect this in a slightly different way. It's very important um, when you're going to make connections, uh, new connections in the system, please turn off the power for the system. So now instead of having a universal mixer here on the end, just listening to the A and the B buses, I'm going to connect it instead to the channels. So now, if I turn these back up, the individual level controls of each one of the oscillators, we're not going to hear anything until we bring up these faders. And we turn the power on. There we go. That's better. So here's one. Here's two. Here's three. And here's four. Four is a little messy right now. see that we can pan it with this knob here. So here with these, um, these are panning this channel 1 between the A and the B. This is channing, panning channel 2 between A and B and so on and so on. Um, so you can get a full uh, kind of stereo mix with panning by using the universal mixer here. A simpler mix down can be done using the submixer. Um, this might be if you want to mix together several sources and then put it on one bus, like the A and the B, or it might be that um, you want to combine signals together also with some panning. So actually this does quite a bit of what the universal mixer does. Um, However, the Universal Mixer has some more features to it, um, and I'll let you look in, uh, in the book to see a little bit more what some of these other things do.
in the submixer, the uh, connector for the audio cable out isn't on the side, it's down here on the bottom. And if we switch one way, we should have a pre-fader. listening to the outputs of A and B after these two faders. And they're mixed together from the four channels, and they also have panning here. And crackly faders. And here, we're getting a pre-fader, so before these A and B here, So post fader and pre fader. see that it's just taking the A and the B buses. It's assigning them to 1 and 3 and 2 and 4. And we should have... And now the fader has no effect on it. It simply just passes it through. channel mode. Now there's ways that we can make patches in this system as well. Um, and there would be two different kinds of uh, patch cables we can use. These would be cables if we want to connect some modules from, for example, to the power supply or from the AB bus of something to another AB bus. We would use these. However, if we want to connect channels, I can take, for example, the uh, channel 4 output And we can connect it to channel 1 of the submixer now. And you see that now it's the same as if this submixer were down here connected to the channel outputs of the quad sound generator. So that was the whole AB bus. And this would just be channel 1. So there's several of these, um, I think there's two of the universal mixer in the system that we have here for our workshop right now. And there should be two of these sub mixers as well. Um, so you can use them to do different kinds of signal routing. Perhaps just to prove my last uh, my last point about um, these patch cables. So this should still work when I turn this on. There we go. The next section. In the next section, we'll talk a little bit more about this module, the quad sound generator.